Hey, what's up guys? So today after work we decided to go ahead and do a little three mile run at the Green Springs Interpretive Trail again. But uh, today we decided to go ahead and do some push-ups and some dips. Um, we were reading an article earlier and it was talking about the more strength and energy you put into your exercise, meaning like the more intense your exercise is the more fat, the more weight you'll lose. Um, the whole article was talking about how a lot of people think that you can just like throw on a bunch of layers of like sweatpants and stuff and sweat it all out, but it's been proven apparently throughout history multiple times that sweating has little to no impact on your fat loss or weight loss in general. Um, it actually makes you lose a lot of water weight, water weight, but it doesn't, I mean, that's just temporary because your water weight's coming back. So, yeah, so that's what we were doing. We were just trying to make our run a little bit more intense today because we ate a bunch of spaghetti last night, so <laughs> we had to make that go away because my stomach felt bloated today. I know this video probably looks like it's super hot outside I mean it is super hot outside but don't let the video ooh, don't let the video fool you there was a really good breeze happening so I mean it actually felt really good it was amazing so we were all good my water did though you know when I go running my water actually gets hot by the time I get to the end of my trail my water is hot and it's like unpleasurable to drink This is the part of the workout I like the most. We have 30 minutes to go eat some complex carbohydrates and proteins, which means basically vegetables or whole grains, something like that. So we're going to go and try to find us something with vegetables and whole grains in it with protein, maybe to get some nuts or something. But yeah, that's what we do within 30 minutes after our workout. It's important for our energy because all those carbohydrates turn into glucose, which naturally give our bodies energy. Here lately, I've been thinking about adding a lot of vegan into my diet. Um, I don't want to go full on vegan, like no meat ever whatsoever, but there's a lot of vegan recipes that look delicious and here lately I've been thinking a lot about my nutrition and health and what I'm eating and what I'm not eating so I've been thinking about doing a lot of vegan lately and last night we were looking up like spaghetti squash spaghetti which looks really good there was a vegan pasta salad that looked and sounded really good there's this pumpkin macaroni it's like macaroni and cheese but instead of cheese it's made out of pumpkin now that I don't know about but I would like to try it you know and then there was like this um, dried tomato sauce pasta or whatever and that looked really good so yeah we'd like to try to put some more healthy and nutritious stuff into our diet and try to kick some of this really sugary and fatty meals that we eat. Alright, we have gotten ourselves some strawberries for our complex carbohydrates and nutrients. Peanuts, because I really like peanuts and they got protein in them. You, know, you gotta watch yourself on peanuts because eating too many of anything obviously can make you gain weight or gain fat and even though peanuts don't really contribute to a whole lot of body fat if you eat too many of them obviously you're not helping yourself and we're going to try something new to us this is the what does that say bolt house farms green goodness 
good source of antioxidant C and vitamin B12. 100% fruit juice smoothie. A kiwi, apple, and mango flavored blend of four from concentrate and two not from concentrate juices with added ingredients. All right, so that seems like it would be pretty healthy. Feel good about what's in this bottle, they say. We generously blend over 15 ingredients to deliver an unmatched combination of flavor and nutrition, which includes the juices of three-fourths of an apple, one-third of a pineapple, one mango, one-third banana, and one-third kiwi. And these ingredients. I don't know what half that stuff is. All right, so spirulina is in there, green tea, broccoli, spinach, barley, grass, wheatgrass, garlic, Jerusalem artichoke, Nova Scotia, Dulce, iron, magnesium, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, and vitamin C. So this thing sounds pretty good after all. Oh, here's one more. It says, after more than a hundred years of working the land, one lesson rises to the top. The best beverages come from the best ingredients. Crisp veggies, ripe fruit, all blended together to make great tasting juices, smoothies, protein shakes. Goodness in, goodness out. Visit www.bolthouse.com for more. Shake well. Settling is natural. So we're gonna shake it and we're gonna try it. All right, so why is my screen all crazy like that? You can definitely, <laughs> it can grow on you, that's for sure. Um, I think the naked one was better, and definitely the homemade, freshly bl blended up juices that you get from a, like a juicing bar is definitely good, but I mean this one's not bad, it's just could be better, you know, but I'm sure a lot of people like it because they seem to be popular on the shelves everywhere, so. So in conclusion, we did our three miles of running today, we did some push-ups of different varieties, we did some tricep dips and we did some of them shoulder push-ups I'm not sure what they're called and then we went to Food Lion and we got ourselves some strawberries some green juice and some peanuts I think we did very well and we got some water obviously because we need to drink some more water in our life but yeah I think we did well today and then tonight we'll probably hit into an upper body so stay tuned for that and I'm glad you guys are watching thank you peace